acknowledge and pay respects to the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. It is upon their ancestral land that the University of Sydney is built. As we share our own knowledge, teaching, learning and research practices within this university, may we also pay respect to the knowledge embedded forever within the Aboriginal custodianship of country. On behalf of the cohort of the Diction Units for undergraduate students of the Sydney Conservatorium of Music, Brendan and I would like to welcome you to the second De Mont Dreyfus Song Competition. My name is Anastasia, Brendan and I are part of tonight's presenting team. The members of our team are looking forward to leading you through today's event. Anastasia and I begrüßen Sie im Namen der Cohorte des Diction Kurses für Studenten des Konzertoriums für Musik zum zweiten Dermon 3 Kurs Liederwettbewerb. Mein Name ist Brendan, Anastasia und ich sind Mitglieder des Teams, das Sie durch die heutige Veranstaltung führt. Please welcome today's jury. Our special guest, Sonja Schweitzer, President of the Australian German Welfare Society Sydney, and the Conservatorium representatives, Andrew Dalton, Marie Ryan AM, Dr. Anke Hübner, and Barry Ryan OAM. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Hello! Is die Sarah Korischlich für unseren Zoom-Raum? Hallo! Hallo! Hey, es tut mir leid, ich bin so spät. Ich bin jetzt aufgewacht. Hallo! Guten Tag! Hallo, Chris! Was ist du? Ich esse Reis. <lacht> wir haben keine Panikkäufe gemacht. Deshalb haben wir bald kein Essen mehr. Wir haben auch kein Toilettenpapier. Jetzt müssen wir Notenpapier benutzen. <lacht> das heißt kein Musikproblem in der näheren Zukunft. Und Toilettenpapier? Wie komisch! Hallo. Hallo! Was hat ihr alle gemacht, seit das Konservatorium geschlossen wurde? Gute Junge! meine Isolation. Das bedeutet mir Zeit für die Familie. Und Mama! Oh mein Gott! Wow! Sieht so aus, als ob ihr alle beschäftigt seid. Ich vermisse das Konservatorium. Ich auch. Selbst die Geister im Konservatorium. Mit dem Kaffee und dem Haus. Und die Seele voller Ich vermisse das Konservatorium. Gute Nacht. Alle Studenten 
Der Dixius Kobold war an der Erstellung dieses Wettbewerbs beteiligt und wir freuen uns sehr, Ihnen heute sechs Sänger vorzustellen. Unsere Finalisten und Reservisten wurden von einer Expertenjury aus 24 Video-Audition Einsendungen ausgewählt. Um, before we begin, just a bit of housekeeping. Um, in lieu of the videos we have prepared, um, the panelists um, will announce the programs of every performer that is to come on. Um, once this has been completed, we will have a quick 20 minute break. Due to the generosity of the Demont Drag Rules Scholarship, today's winner will be rewarded with $2,000 and the runners up will each receive $150. Our contestants are, perform, are accompanied by one of the finest song accompanists of our country, David Miller A.M. Aidan grew up and has spent his life so far living in the quaint little suburb of Ashbury in the inner west with his mother, father and sister. From a young age, Aidan had a passion for music and in particular singing as he joined the school choir at Newington College from primary school all throughout high school. This passion for choral singing is only magnified in Aidan as he is currently a bass choral scholar at St James King Street. Apart from singing, Aidan has developed a basic level for playing instruments such as piano, bass guitar and drums, which he frequently did for his local church. He also enjoys to watch and play basketball and is an avid fan of the NBA. Yet. Given all these interests, nothing comes close to Aidan's love for classical singing, in particular, German Lieder. Through the guidance of his teacher Andrew Dalton, Aidan has grown fond of Lieder by the likes of Brahms, Schumann, and most of all, Schubert. This infatuation with Lieder was further fostered when he attended the Melbourne International Festival for Lieder and Art Song in 2019, conducted by Professor Graham Johnson. Some of his favourite recordings include that of Lied ein Schiffes an die Dioskuren and Ambach im Frühling, sung by Matthias Goerner. Aidan is very appreciative of the opportunity to perform here today alongside his peers.
der Geist zerbracht Schranken des Körpers trägers Blei, erwaltet groß und frei, es lag und tüget Haken am Eden zwischen. stage in kindergarten at her school's end of year performance, her family sensed that maybe she wasn't meant for the stage, or at least the edge of it. Not only is she still yet to fall off the stage since, but her connection to performing and singing has still been a large part of Laura's life since then. Laura got the opportunity to be a member of the New South Wales Public School Singers from Year 7 to Year 12, which allowed her to be a part of yearly events such as State Music Camp and School Spectacular. Growing up, choir rehearsal was her favourite part of the week but she always felt she sang a bit too loudly for her choir, which she would never, ever hear the end of from her peers. Eventually, when commencing Year 11, she discovered classical solo repertoire through completing music for her HSC, and would make it her goal to pursue this newfound passion beyond high school. Thankfully, within Sydney Conservatorium of Music, she is able to continue pursuing the dream of becoming a soprano soloist. Since starting her studies, she's had the privilege of performing in multiple productions, both at the conservatorium and outside of the conservatorium. However, she believes that she already peaked in high school when she played Mr. Banks in Mary Poppins at her all-girls school. Our next contestant is Laura Vox. Laura performs two songs by Hugo Wolf, the Schwiegener Liebe, and Air Beasts. Before the even Vortrag with Andy Hoffman from Ludwig van Beethoven, the end. Please welcome to the stage Laura Watsman and David Miller. <laughs>
Born in Prague in the Czech Republic, Alexander Young developed his love for singing from an early age. On the day he was brought back from the hospital, his grandfather heard him cry for the first time and swiftly proclaimed, Yep, he's gonna be a singer. Indeed, much of Alex's early musical inspiration and connection came from his grandfather, who himself sang opera in his youth, and performed in the chorus at La Scala in a production of Lohengrin, a stage to which Alex would love to find himself following in his grandfather's footsteps. Alex has enjoyed performing in a myriad of styles and settings, be it as a cat in a year two production of Andrew Lloyd Webber's aptly named Cats, to his first singing concert at Mozart's Villa in Prague, to musical theatre and even jazz during high school, back to his continuous and ever-present love of opera and classical singing. Alex hopes that his career will eventually take him around the globe, back to Europe and to Prague where his singing journey began, from Semperoper to La Scala, from Vienna Satsopa, back to the Sydney Opera House, and to all the great destinations of the world. And so next to Zenger is Alexander Young. Alexander uh, singt für Sie Neue Liebe, Neues Leben von Ludwig van Beethoven, seine folgenden Lieder und wirst du deinen liebsten Sterben sehen und nimmer satte Liebe hören von Hugo Wolf Komponia. Please welcome to the stage Alexander Young and David Miller. Alles 
Olivia is a mezzo-soprano in her final year of a Bachelor of Music Performance degree at the Sydney Conservatorium of Music. Her story is pretty simple and not much has changed since she was little. Her favourite place on the planet is still the lake near her house 
Italian is still her food of choice. Her childhood besties turned into her adulthood besties and she still wants to be an opera singer. In kindergarten, she watched her big sister have horse riding lessons and wanted to be just like her. It didn't take long to realise that riding was not her thing and so began the search for an activity that involved a little more bling and way less helmet hair. From her very first singing lesson, Olivia knew that she wanted to be an opera singer, preferably with Andrea Bocelli by her side. To date, Olivia has performed in Carmen, Don Giovanni, and L'Enfant et les Sortilèges, as well as numerous charity benefits and community concerts. In 2017, she branched into music for film, forming part of the Christmas choir in Bruce Beresford's film, Ladies in Black. Olivia has also been involved in recordings, most notably for the Australian government in their Healthy Aging campaign. Her move to Sydney, although scary, proved to be nothing less than fabulous, making new lifelong friends and taking a giant step towards her dream with the help of her teachers, mentors and peers. In her spare time, you can find Olivia eating copious amounts of pasta, watching Aussie soap operas and wishing it was Christmas already. Olivia Payne is unser nächster Sänger, the singer. Olivia performs Lied der Mignon by Franz Schubert, Elfenlied by Uwe Roll, and Wonne der Wehmut by Ludwig van Beethoven. <laughs>
Alexander is currently in his third year at the con, coming from a predominantly theatre-based background. Roles include Geppetto in Pinocchio, an original opera staged by Musgrove Opera, Enoch Snow in Rodgers and Hammerstein's Carousel, Jimmy Powers in City of Angels, and a variety of chorus roles in opera and musical theatre productions across Sydney. 
On the concert stage, Alexander has appeared as a soloist in Charpentier's Christmas Mass and Durant's Magnificat with Joubert Sings, Vaughan Williams' Mass in G Minor at Christ's Church St. Lawrence, Belle Piece by Percy Granger with SCM Wind Symphony, and most recently in the Con's virtual production of Mozart's Requiem. Alexander has performed in ensemble groups including the Song Company, the SCM Chamber Choir, and as a soloist in the Icelandic Project Ensemble which premiered a selection of contemporary Icelandic choral music in Australia. Alexander's earliest performance experience was not as a singer, however. He starred as the little boy in his primary school's dance production of Dr. Zeus's The Lorax, placing runner-up in the grand final of the Waikikiri Dance Festival performing at the Sydney Entertainment Centre, all at age 10. After years away from dancing, determined to hold on to any thread of his former capabilities, in 2018, Alexander auditioned for a part in Willoughby Theatre Company's production of Strictly Ballroom. Snagging the role of Wayne Burns, Alexander can now waltz, sumba, rumba, tango, and complete an unsurpassable bogo pogo.
Jeremy Boulton grew up in Western Sydney and relocated to Wollongong for school where he still lives today. Jeremy began learning singing with Rachel Bate at seven years of age. Jeremy played brass in high school and also learnt brass privately, including the trumpet, trombone and baritone horn, his favourite brass instrument. He also performed in the rock band Shoot the Breeze, which even released an EP. Jeremy performed in all the school musicals and jumped at every performance opportunity he found. Cindy Lauper was Jeremy's primary inspiration, both for starting to learn singing and to pursue voice as a career. Jeremy said, I attended her concert in 2009 at the State Theatre Sydney, joined her on stage briefly and was invited to hang out in her dressing room after the performance. Her presence on stage and her connection to her music is second to none, as well as her unapologetic diva. Jeremy played in multiple performances as a soloist at Southern Stars, the Arena Spectacular, New South Wales School Spectacular, School Choirs, and so on. Jeremy is currently making the most of time away from the stage and concert hall, studying operatic roles, languages, German and Italian, preparing new Australian works, undertaking a new admin role in managing an orchestra, working as a music arranger, working in a new cleaning job thanks to COVID-19, and rehearsing his graduating recital at the Sydney Conservatorium. Jeremy hopes to complete a Masters in Opera performance at Sydney Conservatorium, to continue learning roles and languages, and participate in summer schools in Europe to refine his skills and improve his stagecraft. Jeremy would also like to live overseas for some time in Italy and Germany to immerse himself in language and culture and meet people from all over the world. Oh, 
bei Klein, ganz allein. Und küssen wollte ich sie. Und küssen, küssen, küssen wollte ich sie. Jedoch sie sprach, sie würde schreien, sie würde schreien, sie würde schreien, sie würde schreien. Sie würde schreien. Ich wagt es doch und küsste sie und küsste sie trotz ihrer Gegenwehr, trotz ihrer Gegenwehr und schrie.
together for our accompanist, the legend and incredible David Miller. Exhausting. 
Uh, she's on the computer, you know, virtually all day and trying to organise the students and the artists and the whole thing. It's a massive job and she does it seemingly with ease. So uh, I'd, leave, I'd like to thank Aga for a brilliant <laughs>